Hello everyone. I'm a seller onboarding expert and I welcome you to sellerzone.tataclick.com. After watching this video you will be able to update the inventory of your listed products either one at a time or in bulk. Visit sellerzone.tataclick.com and sign in using your seller account credentials. Please note both email ID and password fields are case sensitive here. When you log in, you will be directed to the seller panel's homepage. Navigate to Inventory and Price Management. The Inventory Management tab allows you to edit inventory at an individual level. The Inventory Bulk Upload tab allows you to edit inventory in bulk. When we click on Inventory Management we are supposed to Choose the slave and appropriate category levels. Slave code or store code is your seller code hyphen ERP code. When we are done choosing the exact hierarchy, click on search option. On doing so all the products that fall under the chosen category will pop up. Now we can refer to product name and SKU code and make the required changes to the inventory and safety stock. So I am changing the inventory from 10 to 5 and setting safety stock as 2. Setting a safety stock will alarm me when the inventory depletes to 2 units. After doing the desired changes, make sure you check on the box to the extreme right of the SKU, for which inventory was edited and click on save. Then system will ask you to confirm if you want to proceed with the changes made to your inventory so. Choose the confirm option. Allow the system to make the changes. Once you are done please verify if changes are made appropriately to avoid human error. Then let's move to next option. Inventory bulk upload. It's a two step process. Now. Let's begin with step 1. Click on download format. Then. Open the downloaded file. Fill all the mandatory fields. As mentioned earlier store code is your seller code hyphen ERP code of warehouse. You can request for the same from your account manager. So when we are done feeding the product SKU, store code, and the product stock. Save the file in CSV format. And move on to step 2. Browse the file and upload the file. Allow the system to upload the data. When the system is done uploading a summary file would be downloaded. Note, enable pop-ups of the browser so the summary file can be downloaded and we can refer to status of changes made. Save the summary file for future reference and mail the same to your respective account manager. Congratulations! You have learned how to update inventory on sellerzone.tataclick.com